Hey everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and in this video, I want to talk about a free course available to you by Google on Udacity on data structures and algorithms. Have you heard so many good things in just a single sentence? I know I have not. In this video, I want to show you exactly what this course is about and how can you get access to this course and what all will you learn in this course? I myself have gone through a good portion of this course. I just want to share with you what has my experience been like. Now, I just want to tell you one thing. I'm not the best at data structures and algorithms. I'm more of a web development guy, so I'm into that. But I just show you what this course is about and you can take a look at the course and you can learn about how it actually is. So make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and let's get into this video. So this course, I'll show you what the course is about. But first of all, let's just take a look at what will you learn from this course, right? So this course is about data structures and algorithms. It's about an eight hour long course in which you'll be learning about eight modules. They have divided everything into eight modules. The first one is always about efficiency and syntax of a language. In this case, this whole course, they are referring to Python. But the basic idea is that once you learn about the data structures and algorithm concepts, you can apply it into various other languages. You don't have to worry about what language should you pick, right? They are using Python and pseudocode, but you can choose whatever language fits best for your workflow. But over here, you can see that first of all, they talk about efficiency in the first section. Then they talk about list-based collection. So you go through arrays, linked lists, stacks, queues, searching and sorting. You will be learning about binary search, recursion, bubble sort, merge sort, quick sort. Then you go to maps and hashing, where you'll be learning about maps, hashing, collisions, and then they go into trees, tree reversal, binary trees, binary search trees, heaps, and then we go into graphs. Then after that, they are talking about algorithms, but they're only talking about three problems in particular. They're talking about the shortest path problem, they talk about the knapsack problem, and then they also talk about the traveling salesman problem. And at the end, the last segment of this whole course is where I think you will find the most value. This is the part in which they're talking about how should you take a problem and break it down and solve it properly in an interview. How should you present yourself in an interview? And again, this course is by Google. And so I think this would be hugely valuable to you. Now let me show you what the course is about really. So this is the course available on Udacity. I'll leave the link to this course in the description and you can check it out if you're interested. This video is not sponsored. The course is from Grow with Google, which is their initiative to spread education for free for everyone. So that's the good part about that. If you look over here, it's available for free. Approximately four weeks is what it will take you. For me, it just took me one week. It was it was a quite small course, it, nothing too complex. Then after that, let's just look at what is this course about? What all will you get in this free course? So I think they have broken it down into various types of content that they share with you in this course. First of all, you'll be looking at this text-based content. For example, here they are talking about linked list practice and they are showing you how can you implement a linked list in Python. So that's how they like to do it. Um, and they're just showing you some examples of how you can do it. What are the different functions? What are the different conditions that you need to create over here for doing this? And of course, they have some quizzes as well that you can give and you can learn about if you actually know about the concept or not. After that, they have videos in which they're explaining you a particular concept. So let's just take a look at what Stacks is and let's take an example of this video. Literally every time I hear about Stacks, I can only think about a stack of pancakes. Chocolate chip, of course. Or maybe I'm just always thinking about pancakes? Not actually sure. Stacks are also list-based data structures, so they have a bit of a different flair than arrays and linked lists. The main idea is a stack is like a stack of objects in real life. You keep putting elements on top and you have easy access to remove or look at the top element. Even if the pancake on the bottom looks like it has the most chocolate chips, I can't get to it easily. I need to make my way through everything above it to reach it. I also know that it was the earliest thing put on the stack, back when I thought I would have chocolate chips to spare. So as you can see, the way of explaining a particular concept is by giving you a real world example. And that's why I think this is a good way for you to get into data structure and algorithms. Some people might like to disagree, but that's basically how they explain it to you. Once you've learned about the real world application or some way in which you can relate with the real world, then they talk about the next part in which they're showing you a better explanation of what is stacks, right? So in here, for example, they're talking about how does it really look like. When you add an element to a stack, the operation is called push instead of insert. When you take an element off of the stack, the operation is called a pop instead of remove. Remember, all you need here is to look at the top element of the stack, so the operation should be constant time for both operations. Now, here's a possibly confusing point. Because a stack is pretty abstract, it could actually be implemented with another data type. 
What each element looks like and how they're connected aren't actually specified, just the methods for adding and removing elements. For example, you could use a linked list to implement a stack. You would so as you can see, this is basically what they do. And after that, we go into the next part, which is the last segment of this whole course in which they are talking about how to tackle interviews, right? So this is the first uh, video in which they're talking about how can you do all of this. And th these are the two people who are explaining you things. And at the end, this is what they focus on in this whole segment, which I think is really important for anyone who is trying to give interviews and practice how this all works, right? So as you can see, they talk about confirming inputs, then test cases, brainstorming, runtime an analysis, uh, coding, debugging, interview wrap up. And that is what you will get in the last segment of this course. So you've taken the free DSA course by Google and you've also learned about the tips to ace your interview. The next step is to start applying for jobs. And that's where you can take a look at ReLevel. ReLevel has recently launched two new tests in the domains of business and data analyst roles. They have some amazing companies like Cred, Grow, Upgrad, Razorpay, hiring from ReLevel for packages up to 22 lakhs per annum. In the ReLevel test that is free of cost, you just need to score 150 marks to qualify for the second round and 700 score in the second round lets you get opportunities for job interviews as well as some amazing swags from ReLevel. They guarantee a minimum package of 4 lakhs per annum for non-tech roles and 6 lakhs per annum for tech roles. There is no age or experience limit for eligibility. You can attempt the ReLevel test and get a 50% hike on your next job and get a chance to work in the best product-based companies out there. You can check out the link in the description to learn more about ReLevel tests and now let's get back to the video. Now I just want to warn you by saying this is not the most in-depth course about data structures and algorithms. You might have to use some other resources to learn about applications, implementations of various problems. But this is going to be a great starting point for you. It is going to be a great fundamental level course that you can take and you can then try to tackle down some problems. Their focus is on teaching you the basic idea. That's why they don't use particular languages like C++ or Java in this case. They just use pseudo code or they like to use Python in this case. Right, so I hope this video is insightful. Take a look at this course with the link in the description. I don't have a lot of experience in DSA, but I think if you are in first year of college and you just want to get an idea of what DSA is and how it works, then this can be a great starting point for you. But you have to practice a lot. This is not the one course that you can take and you'll be like, just like, Ab mera ho gaya sab kuch, and now I can start giving interviews. That might not be the case over here. So that is what I have to say. Do let me know what are your thoughts about this course in the comment section. If you're still watching, just say I watched till the very end. The course link is in the description. You can go through it. You just need to make a free account on your Tacity and you just need to click on start the free course over here, right? And once you do that, then you can get access to all the different sections of this course. Now, this is not the only free course that you can get on DSA. There are other videos uploaded on free code camp about DSA that you can also take a look at to learn about the applications of DSA and that, and those are more in-depth courses on DSA. So you can take a look at that if you're interested. And also let me know in the comment section, what are some other great DSA courses available? Do share this video with a friend of yours who's trying to learn about DSA. This would be a great starting point for you to learn about the basic concepts, right? That's all I have for you. I'll see you in the next video. You can follow me on Instagram as well as Twitter. I'll see you again.